Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to grow shape of an bend in moment diagram using graphical method. And this is the example two. These are the notations. First of all, you have to know what are the meanings of these notations. So first, it says ds over dx equals minus w. So ds over dx means slope of shear force diagram and w means distributed load on corresponding beam next dm over dx equals capital s dm over dx means slope of bending moment diagram and this capital s means shear force on corresponding beam so this is a sign convention i'm going to use in this calculation so it says loads downward positive shear force clockwise positive bending moment sagging positive so this is the beam so i'm not going to explain everything in this beam you can see there are three point loads and there are two supports and support reactions are given and all the dimensions are given in this picture Okay, first I am going to draw shear force diagram for this beam. So, for shear force diagram, I will use these two relationships. So, this is the slope as I said before and uh, this relationship is used for finding values. For shear force value. So, this is not a value, right? This is slope. It's like uh, shape of the shear force diagram. Uh, this is for finding values of shear force diagram okay we will see how we grow shear force diagram for this beam as you can see there are four segments which are ad de eb and bc so there are four diagrams in this uh, shear force diagram so at first i am going to grow this very first segment and very last segment okay if we consider this first segment which is AD so you can see at A there is a support reaction so a starting point there is a support reaction that means this shear force diagram will be started at uh, this point and that value will be this value so that means 7 kN in this problem so now I can mark here 7 kN but it can be uh, plus 7 kilo newton or it can be minus 7 kilo newton so how we select plus or minus for that we have sign convention we use sign convention for uh, selecting sign of these values so if we go back to our sign convention so here shear force it says shear force clockwise positive so if I take moment of this force about this any point D, E, B or C you can see moment due to this force is going to be this direction so that is clockwise direction so that means according to our sign convention it says shear force clockwise positive so now we can say this is the plus value so our value is plus therefore I can delete or I can cut this minus value so this is the value what about the shape so shape of the shear force diagram can be obtained using this relationship so you can see it says slope of the shear force diagram equals minus distributor load so as you can see there are no distributor loads on this beam so that means this will be equal to zero that means slope of the shear force diagram will be zero what is the zero slope line so it's just a horizontal straight line right so for these all four segments there will be horizontal straight line right so now we will see this ad segment so for ad segment we found the value of shear force diagram so now i know the shape of the shear force diagram as well 
so now i can draw shape of diagram for this ad segment it's like this it's a horizontal line and value of shape of diagram is 7 x plus 7 so this is the first segment last segment is bc so bc also uh, this beam will be ended at c at c there is a point load right of 9 kilo newton so i can mark it right here so it can be plus 9 kilo newton or it can be minus 9 kilo newton so i will mark it here uh, 9 or minus 9 so as before we can determine it using sign convention so if i take moment of this 9 kilo newton force about uh, this any point it will be go like this so it's also clockwise that means according to the sign convention clockwise positive so i can delete this and this is my value x plus 9 so i can draw it here shape of diagram i know the shape of shape of diagram because all lines are straight lines and they are horizontal straight lines because there are no visible loads on this beam two of four segments i completed now I have to draw shape of diagram of this DE segment and EB segment. Okay, for that I am going to use uh, this relationship. So far I didn't use this relationship because I obtain values using uh, moments. Right, moment means uh, using this support reaction and using this force, using this point load. So now I am going to use this relationship. I can apply this equation for point D. So I will write it here as SD. Right. This says S2 equals S1. That means uh, S1 means the previous shear force value. So if I apply this equation for point D, previous shear force value is 7. So I can write 7 minus total load between x1 and x2 that means total load on this point d so at d there is a uh, force of 10 kilo newton and for loads also there is a sign convention so for loads it says downward positive that, that means if the load is downward so we consider it as positive load so here 10 kilo newton force is acted downward that means it's positive so I will write here positive 10 or plus 10. This minus came from the our equation, right? Uh, now I can simplify this and get the answer as minus 3 kilo newton. Okay, now I can mark it here as minus 3 kilo newton. Next, next EB part. So I will apply this equation for point E I'll write SE here SE equals previous shear force value previous shear force value is minus 3 minus 3 minus total load on this point so at E there is a point load of 10 kilo newton so I will write it right here and I can simplify this and get the answer as minus 13 so I can mark it minus 13 okay now I completely draw the shear force diagram for this beam also you can check this value so I will apply this equation for this point B so I write SB equals S1 is a previous shear force value if we consider this point previous shear force value is minus 13 minus 13 and then minus total load between x1 and x2 that means total load on b so here at b you can see there is a force of 22 kilo newton but its direction is upward according to our sign convention downward positive that means upward negative so i will write here negative 22 kilo newton so if i simplify this i can get minus 13 
plus 22 so if you uh, simplify this you can get it's plus kilo newton plus 9 kilo newton so i already draw here you can see 9 here so you can see we did the correct way and you can check it here if i did wrong this value will not be there right so initially i got the answer from this force now using this equation also i could get this same value okay that is the shear force diagram so if you draw shear force diagram hard part is over next we have to draw shear force diagram it's like you deriving bending moment diagram from shear force diagram so next we will see how to draw bending moment diagram for this beam okay uh, for bending moment diagram we will use these two equations so it says dm over dx equals s that means uh, slope of the bending moment diagram equals to shear force and for the values we use this relationship m2 equals m1 plus area under the shear force diagram between x1 and x2 okay this is the uh, clear shear force diagram you can see i clearly uh, draw it here okay next bending moment diagram in this beam if you consider this beam uh, at a you can see there is a pin support so pin support there is a no resistance for moment that means at a bending moment is zero so you can determine it using supports this bending moment diagram will be started at zero and ending point ending point there is a free end that means there are no resistance at all so ending point also we can say there are no bending moments that means bending moment is zero at the ending point right okay now we know starting point and ending point uh, let's we talk about the slope of the bending moment diagram so slope of the bending moment diagram is equals to s that is shear force so we don't need to find shear force now because we already found it so dm or dx equals s now i will go to segment by segment if we consider this ad segment so i will draw roughly here uh, shape of the bending moment diagram so it says slope of the bending moment diagram or shape of the bending moment diagram equals to s so you can see shear force value is 7 it means dm or dx equals 7 for this ad segment so it's a straight line with a slope of 7 so i will draw it like this so this is a straight line and a slope of plus 7 right uh, then de segment if we consider de segment shear force is minus 3 that means uh, dm or dx equals or slope of the bending moment diagram equals minus 3 that means the straight line with slope of minus 3 so it's like this and eb segment so here shear force value is minus 13 that means slope of bending moment diagram is minus 13 so it's like this right slope is higher than this line and it's minus uh, next bc segment bc segment uh, shear force value is 9 plus 9 so it's a straight line with slope of plus 9 so it's like this so these are the roughly values right now uh, i'm going to grow bending moment diagram i will know starting point of uh, this ad segment and I know the shape of this bending moment diagram so I can draw it like this but uh, still we don't know value of this point so for that we have a relationship for uh, finding bending moment values so I will write here m I am considering this d point therefore md equals m1 m1 is the previous bending moment value if you if we consider this d point previous bending moment value is 0 then area under the shear force diagram between x1 and x2 that means area under uh, this 
diagram right so they are asking area of this rectangle so height of this rectangle is 7 and the, this length is 2 that means 7 times 2 it comes 14 so value of this point is 14 ok next next uh, this D segment um, this D segment uh, we know the shape of bending moment diagram so I can draw it three ways right right it can be uh, one of these three lines so we can determine the correct value or current correct diagram by finding values so I will apply this equation for this point E and m2 equals m1 m1 is the previous bending moment value if we consider this E line previous bending moment value is 14 plus area under the shape of the diagram so they are asking this area and remember if we take the area of this rectangular uh, this height is minus 3 so we have to put minus sign minus 3 times uh, this length is 2 so it comes uh, 14 minus 6 that means 14 minus 6 8 so so it's a plus value that means uh, it's like this so I will redraw this diagram so it's like this it's a straight line with uh, minus slope and this value will be 8 right okay that is the point E then point B and B equals M1 M1 is the previous bending moment value we consider this line or this point B point previous bending moment value is 8 plus area under the shear force diagram they ask in this area of this rectangle and this height is minus 13 length is 2 so if we simplify this we can get minus 18 so I will mark right here minus 18 ok it's a straight line right ok now I already know ending point of uh, this diagram but I will show you uh, applying this equation so I will apply this equation for this point C so I will write MC equals M1 is the previous bending moment value it's minus 18 plus uh, area under the shear force between x1 and x2 that means area of this rectangular so height is plus 9 and this length is 2 9 times 2 18 so it comes 0 so you can see our calculation is right and this is the complete bending moment diagram so this is the bending moment shear force diagram and bending moment diagram I hope you understood what I explained.